On today's trip, we only had uh, three cars. Uh, John John in his Hilux, uh, John in his uh, Mighty Defender and myself in Tiny. Um, we decided to go again to Rimba where I uh, was only last week but haven't otherwise been for quite a while and do a couple of the side tracks which uh, were still on my to-do list as I had my niece uh, with me who visits us from Germany I had hardly any camera gear so the most of the footage of uh, this trip is from Steve B this is a little side track when you go towards a can opener where last time when we attempted that I think Curdy snapped actually his winch rope so I was keen to drive that with Tiny Again, as so often, the video doesn't do it justice. Um, that's a fairly steep hill and uh, the ascent towards the big rock step on the top is uh, fairly loose and uh, rocky with a uh, few ruts in it. I'm running a fairly low tire pressure of 8 psi in the front and the rear to really give me a maximum traction on this terrain. On top then is a pretty decent double rock step where you pretty much have to climb yeah, two rock shelves at the same time. The front just doesn't manage to climb that fairly high step to uh, on my passenger wheel. So I'm just climbing a little bit along there hoping I'm getting traction and get up that step. Watch the tree. You got the tree? Yeah, you got a tree yeah. on the tree just on your right. After slightly repositioning and uh, driving with a little bit more momentum, the second attempt then brought my front up um, the second step. However, more steps there and I again need to realign a little bit to drive the remaining steps. And turning the front wheel uh, with the front locker in on 37s uh, is always a bit of a power act. Next it was John John's turn with his Hilux and the 35s. I think, stop, you're sitting on your diff. Beautiful. Ah, he's sitting on the rear. John John on 33s and the long wheelbase um, had the worst ramp over angle there and got hung up on his chassis so we had to reposition him again to get the chassis off that rock Watch that tail shot, Stefan. 
that line didn't really work so sometimes it's the best to really just go back uh, realign and um, yeah drive it again have a completely fresh start and that's what we did here Next was John in the Defender. He took a slightly different line, which brought him into a little bit less favorable angle for the next step of the trek. Um, but with a little bit of uh, reversing and negotiating, he got around there. It may push you around if you put the front locker out, rear locker in. Front locker off, rear locker in, left hand down and start climbing uh, that two rocks and see where that push you around. Yeah, straighten up. Okay. You're just clearing. Stop. How does that diff look there? Yeah, bo both lockers in now. Yeah, 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 beautiful. I would go a tiny bit left, uh, left hand down, left hand down, left, hand. left, yeah. Okay, straighten up. Stop. Yeah, hang on there. Come a bit back. Stop, stop. Secure. Right hand down. Yeah, good. Right hand down, just crawl forward, right hand down. Hold it, hold it. Okay, I'd, I'd go 10 centimeter back and then drive it. That's it. Try to drive it. Beautiful. Just remove that rock. Okay. Watch John John. Huh? Hi, John. John. Watch John John. He's gone into a rat there. So I'm gonna try to get the rear wheel up. Very gentle. John's uh, Salisbury diff Very was uh, thoroughly stuck uh, on that rock. And yeah, uh, with a lot of trying um, and rocks and so on, unfortunately, we still couldn't get him off that rock. So uh, John, John, John mentioned he had some max tracks in the back, so we put them for a change to good use. Yes! Hold it, hold it there. Give it a go, I doubt that you get up there, but try. Right hand down then. But I don't think he's going to climb that. Stop. Yeah. Hard right.
With a couple of rocks packed, uh, John was nearly there. Yep. That's it! Beautiful! The second goal with slightly more momentum uh, did it. That's Maybe some nice flex. So, Steve, who supposedly also has a big one, though it's never seen. It's a mystery car. It's a mystery car, but he brought his. We didn't really film driving the can opener. Um, we had uh, a party of two letting us go, so we just quickly drove it up and parked for lunch. And then Steve got his defender out. Lockers on, Steve? Yes, of course. Oh, it got hung up. Oh, he made it. Struggles for traction, struggles for traction. Oh, that is going to be steep now. Oh, that is rolling territory here. Yes! <laughs> I actually never driven the rock garden. So, yeah, we decided to give that a quick go. It's a fairly short track, but uh, with a lot of rocks, uh, diff clearance and really picking good line is, uh, yeah, uh, quite important there. With the Defender and Portals, obviously, that uh, was a little bit easier for me than it was for John John.
our way to the next track, uh, we thought we're gonna flex up a little bit uh, these wombat holes here. John remembered a short sidetrack which uh, at the time he looked at it several years ago looked very hectic and uh, he didn't drive it at the time so we um, yeah tried to find the track and after a little bit of searching actually did and yes it looks uh, fairly intimidating from the bottom again the video doesn't really do it justice it is pretty steep Watch John! The last track of the day was Dead Man's, again another track I've never driven before. It's again not too long but uh, goes fairly steep down, has some good uh, rocky uh, sections at the bottom then you turn around and drive back up and uh, what uh, Steven filmed here is pretty much our drive back up.
spark with me. On the way back, uh, I sent the spark uh, up at the Brooklyn Bridge and uh, took a bit of aerial videography. <laughs>